Hello lads, it's me, Benny, and I just woke up. Today we're playing Peroxide as per usual, and today I'm going to showcase Apocalypse. That's one of the uh, rare drifts in the game, and it is a strength scaling. So now we're starting on the strength ones, which is just only two, I think. Yeah, so it's not going to be a lot. But anywho, Apocalypse. Uh, first, I'm going to cover the shrift itself, the moves, and then I'm going to cover the uh, vault standing. And then after that, I'm going to do a gameplay of, you know, of showcasing everything. Yeah, I don't have anything more to say. Let's get on with it, shall we? So, Apocalypse has three moves. The first move is called Famine. This joint right here. Jump backwards and fire poisonous arrow, leaving behind a thick fog of venom for a duration of time. This is the only spirit scaling ability. So, this is kind of... You know, if you have no spirit, it's not going to be that good. I use this. I mean, I use it sometimes. It's good for, like, auto-executing things that are low HP. But, uh, yeah, I'll get to that later. Um, but this that's just basically how the move works. Here's next move is called Conquest, which is this thing. Dash forward in an attempt to grasp your enemy. Upon success, you will drag their face across the ground and slam them down at the end. This is a strength gaining move. This move is really good, but you have to be really close to... You know, not really close, but you have to be close enough to use it. It's a... Strong ass move, it deals a ton of damage. Next move is called War. Uh, aggressively stomp the ground, sending a wave of shockwaves to the earth with enough force uh, to stagger your enemies. This is a strength scaling move, and basically what this is, is a cone AoE type of ability that sends anybody down to the floor. It's, it's a really good combo starter, and I think combo extending move, because this is instant. This move is almost instant when you use it. Really strong. Yeah, that's the Shrift's moves. Uh, let's uh, show them. Time has come. The Apocalypse. I got a great sword now because, you know, fit the theme of strength uh, based weapons. We gotta get some some cool ass weapons, you know. So, Famine. Let's try that joint. So, Famine, you basically just press it, you jump backwards, aim somewhere, and then you shoot. I stand in here, you can see the acid uh, lingers onto them. Deals uh, not that much damage, but it, well, actually, it deals pretty decent damage. It's not that bad. Not that bad damage wise. Are you gonna attack me? Alright, let's try the next move. Conquest. So basically, you can be like this distance. You use it. You dash forward, drag them to the face. And bwah, slam them down. It's a really good move to use. I like it a lot. That's one of my favorite moves. Just because you just drag them on the ground. And like I said, you can combo extend with that one. It's just... Uh, no, I don't usually combo extend anymore. Because I'm too used to Queen C's just being ranged and spamming moves. Alright, and then the last ability called War. This is, I think, this is like an instant cast almost move. Use it, bah, stand the ground. They should be prone unless they use evasives like all Queensies do. The yeah, Apocalypse is one of my favorite shrifts so far. I loved using this because I tested this more thoroughly. Like, this was one of the shrifts I had to test more, like, properly. Because the other ones, like, example, I think it was the, I think it was Forest that I tested the least i just got it and then showcased it and then got rid of it that's basically the forest so this one i took more time to learn yes yeah, so you can use both the well i'm not sure how easy it is to combo i guess this move the, the uh i forgot the name the conquest move is not good at combo extending more like combo finishing while war the stomp on the ground is an extension so yeah that's that and then you have just a damage over time move so yeah that is the shrift now let's go over the Vault Standing. So the Apocalypse Vault Standing uh, has two passives, I think. Or it has three passives. It has three passives, my fault. The first passive is that you will auto-execute NPCs. Uh, and players. And players too. You'll auto-execute players by default. So if you if they're low and you do the you know the damaging hit or the, the, the killing blow, they will be executed on the spot. You yeah, they're dead. And they drop a little soul sphere like they, you can see their soul when they're dead if you get close to this soul you get healed up so it's pretty much like reyna's ability is that her name the, the, that mexican girl from valorant that's it's her ability like she can just drag in souls to heal her that's basically the same it's just it's passive and then you have another passive is a custom dash when you press q once the purple hands come from the sky and grab the closest opponent to you this is a good this is a good like damaging ability. It's pretty good to stagger up enemies as well. Pretty nice. And then you have a custom um, counter. A custom counter. It applies something called a death toll. After 20 seconds, a death toll will ring. Uh, you know, it'll, it'll ring a bell, allowing for a brief moment where the opponent is attacked. 
if the Tabon is attacked, they will explode. So it's very hard to explain. I gotta show you this. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, oh, hold on. And then you get an ultimate move called Death. Summon a Black Scythe made of pure despair and slice forth. If your enemies hit below 20% health, they they will be automatically executed. So it's a pretty strong attacking ability and you can auto execute. And it also scales with strength. But yeah, that's all there is. Let's uh, get to it. There we go. The punishment of God. All right, let's get to it. So let's showcase the yeah the dash passive. Press Q. This enhance flying down. This will stagger the enemy. These these are not really get great for damage. It's more like used to stagger people. Really good. I think it staggers. I'm pretty sure. It's and then uh yeah, let's uh, try to get the M2 counter working. Hello, can it work? There we go. Did the counter you can see? It's a little uh, little ghost on this on this person. Little little ghost on this person, and it counts down. Oh, it's ringing. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, I was too late. I was too late. I don't know. Actually, I don't get how the move works. All right, but let's just kill you so we can start, show the auto execution. Oh, oh yeah, that worked. And I get for seven. I get hit for seventeen each tick, which is ten ticks. That's hundred and seventy health. I'm pretty sure. That's not too bad. It's not too good either. But yeah. Bam! 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 bam, 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 bam chill, 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 chill. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cho showcase the ghost. It's kind of hard. Okay, so we wait till it's ringing. There it goes ringing. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. If it starts ringing and you hit them, yeah, death will come. You just wait upon them, you know, essentially. The thing is, these guys have so little HP, it's kind of hard to showcase that passive. But anywho, my thing is running out of cooldown. Let's uh, test out the, the scythe, the black scythe. They are three volunteers. All right. You press the move, the open move. As you can see, it deals a ton of damage. And if they were around, like, if they were under half health, they would have been auto executed. Because these guys have that little health. Or if they were. At 20% health. But yeah, that is the apocalypse in vaults. And but yeah, without further ado, let's uh, fight the spirit, shall we? The not spirit, the vault standing boss, the robot, the damn dummy. Let's fight his ass. The whoop his ass. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it. Uh, let's get. Go. Boy, boy, boy. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a beautiful start. Let's use this. Oh, it did. How many wastes do you have? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the wrong move, but I'll take it. Okay. Bam. So I didn't even know they got break. That's kind of cool. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! 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 Damn! This poison deals a lot of damage. Stop it! Stop! Oh my god! That thing. Yo, his M1 damage is crazy. I never thought the strength to fucking. Oh, I didn't mean to use this. He's not even close. Oh my! I'm almost dead. Up. So I see how it is now. Okay. <clears throat> Go bad. All right. I had no idea he was. Ah! I'm not getting hit. I'm not. No, I'm not risking any fucking thing with this guy. Don't you dare. Oh yeah. Bang. Pick. Oh fuck! I forgot. Ah! Ah! Oh no 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 no! Oh my god! That deal so. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm popping this. Ah! Do the ah! Bang! And then, and then, me! Woo! Yeah, you know what's? Oh shit! Ma, ah, you got the counter on you, buddy. Watch out! De Death's counting. De oh right, I got this move. I forgot. Off me. Okay. No, he got the death counter. I can't execute. I can do. Ah! I should have hit them. Fuck! All right. That's unfortunate. No! No! Oh! <laughs> that tell no stop 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 wait that's me how the hell did I hit that oh hell no I'm not getting hit by those what's this oh he had a little bit oh that just did damage damage never mind I'm good bang and then wait no oh, I waited too long I'm in hell with the I got the death counter on me fuck get off me off my nuts off of me you got the death counter do buddy Shut sit the fuck down don't try anything stupid with me, you know? Yeah, get me. I'm in hell with the- Oh, no! Guy! <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. I'll go lie. The, the fighting strength vault standing is the most scary thing I've done so far. Like, I thought spirit was bad. 
Fucking strength is way worse. He's scary. But that was that for uh, Apocalypse. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Of course, drop a thumbs up if you did like it. Uh, leave a like. Uh, I did say that just now. Comment down if you have anything to say. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.